Welcome back. In this video, we are going to draw the graph of a trigonometric function and then we will use the graph to answer some questions. The question we have is copy and complete the table of values for the relation y is equal to 2 sin x plus 1. So we have our x and y values here. The x values ranges from 0 degrees to 270 degrees. Some of the y values have been computed for us. So the first part of the question says we should copy and complete the table. Then after that, the second part says that we should use a scale of 2 centimeters to 30 degrees on the x-axis and 2 centimeters to 1 unit on the y-axis to draw the graph of the relation y is equal to 2 sin x plus 1. For the interval, x is between 0 degrees and 270 degrees. And then after that, we will use the graph that we have drawn to find the value of x for which sin x is equal to 1 divided by 4. Let's begin with the first part of the question. We have the table here and the relation is y is equal to 2 sin x plus 1. We will substitute the x values into it to get the y values. We already have the y value for when x is equal to 0 degrees. So the next one will be the y value for when x is equal to 30 degrees. When x is equal to 30 degrees. The relation is y is equal to 2 sin x plus 1. So when x is equal to 30 degrees, y will be equal to 2 sin 30 degrees plus 1. 2 sin 30 degrees plus 1 will give us 2.0. I'm correcting my answer to one decimal place because when we look on the table, the values of y that was computed for us, they are all in one decimal place. So I have to correct all my values to one decimal place. So we have y is equal to 2.0. So it means that when x is equal to 30 degrees, y is equal to 2.0. The next one will be when x is equal to 60 degrees. When x is equal to 60 degrees, y will be equal to 2 sine 60 degrees plus 1. And this will give us 2.7. So when x is 60 degrees, y will give us 2.7. The next one is when x is 90 degrees. When x is 90 degrees, y will be equal to 2 sine 90 degrees plus 1. And this will give us 3.0. So when x is 90 degrees, y is equal to 3.0. The next one is when x is equal to 150 degrees. When x is equal to 150 degrees, y will be equal to 2 sine 150 degrees plus 1. And this will give us 2.0. So when x is 150 degrees, y is equal to 2.0. The next one is when x is equal to 180 degrees. When x is equal to 180 degrees, y will be equal to 2 sine 180 degrees plus 1. And this will give us 1.0. So when x is 180 degrees, y is 1.0. And the last one is when x is equal to 270 degrees. When x is equal to 270 degrees, y will be equal to 2 sine 270 degrees plus 1. And this will give us negative 1.0. So when x is 270 degrees, y is negative 1.0. We have now completed the table for the values of x and y. The next part of the question says that Using the values of x and y we have in this table, we should draw the graph of the relation y is equal to 2 sine x plus 1. So let's do that. We have the graph sheet here and these are the x and y values. The question says that we should use a scale of 2 centimeters to 30 degrees on the x-axis and 2 centimeters to 1 unit on the y-axis. 
considering the scale and looking at the values of x and y we have i'm going to choose this vertical major grid line as my y-axis and this horizontal major grid line as my x-axis the scale on the y-axis is two centimeters to one unit so i'll use that scale to number the y-axis and the scale on the x-axis is two centimeters to 30 degrees so i'll use that scale to number the x-axis i've made three separate videos where i explained how to use a graph sheet so if you want to learn more about how to use a graph sheet to answer a question like this i will recommend that you watch those videos i'll leave the link to those videos in the description of this video so you can check it out let's get back to our question we now have our x and y axis numbered so we can plot our values the first one is zero degrees 1.0 so 0 degrees on the x-axis and 1.0 on the y-axis and that will be here. The next one is 30 degrees 2.0. So 30 degrees 2.0 will be here. The next one is 60 degrees 2.7. So we have 60 degrees on the x-axis and 2.7 on the y-axis. That will be here. The next one is 90 degrees 3.0. 90 degrees on the x-axis 3.0 on the y-axis that will be here the next one is 120 degrees 2.7 120 degrees on the x-axis 2.7 on the y-axis that will be here the next one is 150 degrees 2.0 150 degrees on the x-axis 2.0 on the y-axis that will be here the next one is 180 degrees 1.0 180 degrees on the x-axis 1.0 on the y-axis that will be here the next one is 210 degrees 0 0.0 210 degrees on the x-axis and 0, 0.0 on the y-axis so that will be on this point the next one is 240 degrees negative 0 0.7 so 240 degrees on the x-axis and negative 0.7 on the y-axis that will be here and the last one is 270 degrees on the x-axis negative 1.0 on the y-axis and that will be here after plotting the points you join them with your free hand to get the curve this is the curve of the relation y is equal to 2 sin x plus 1 so we have drawn the graph of y is equal to 2 sin x plus 1 on the graph sheet let's consider the last part of the question the last part of the question says that we should use the graph to find the values of x for which sin x is equal to 1 divided by 4 remember that on the graph sheet we have drawn the graph of the relation y is equal to 2 sin x plus 1 we are going to use the graph of this relation to find the values of x for which sin x is equal to 1 divided by 4 to get that we will have to find the value of y when sin x is equal to 1 divided by 4 to get the value of y when sine x is equal to 1 divided by 4, we will substitute the value of sine x into the relation that we have. The value of sine x here is 1 divided by 4. So where we see sine x, we will replace it with 1 divided by 4 to get the value of y when sine x is 1 divided by 4. When we do that, we are going to have y is equal to you see from the relation we have 2 sine x but sine x is 1 divided by 4 so you have y is equal to 2 times 1 divided by 4 plus 1 2 will cancel itself 1 and cancel for 2 so we have 1 times 1 divided by 2 which will give us half and so we will end up having y is equal to 
half plus 1. Half plus 1 will give us 1.5. What this means is that when sine x is equal to 1 divided by 4, y is equal to 1.5. From the graph, we can find the values of x for which y is equal to 1.5. The values of x for which y is equal to 1.5 will be the same as the values of x when sine x is equal to 1 divided by 4. So let's find the values of x for which y is equal to 1.5. To get the values of x when y is equal to 1.5, we first have to draw the line y is equal to 1.5 on the graph sheet. We will do that by first identifying 1.5 on the y-axis. 1.5 will be between 1 and 2. So we will have it here. So we will have it here, 1.5. Then after that, we will draw a horizontal line through it to meet the curve, just as we can see here. The equation of this line is y is equal to 1.5. As we can see, the line y is equal to 1.5 meets the curve at these two points. The x coordinates of these two points will give us the values of x for which y is equal to 1.5. To get the x coordinates of these points, we will trace them to meet the x axis. When I trace the first one to meet the x axis, the value I'm getting there is 15 degrees. And when I trace the second one to meet the x axis, the value I'm getting there is 165 degrees. This means that from the graph, when y is equal to 1.5, x is equal to 15 degrees and 165 degrees. It also means that from the graph, the values of x for which sign x is equal to 1 divided by 4 are 15 degrees and 165 degrees. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. Bye-bye.